Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a sort of very different video compared to what I usually film on this channel and it is going to be a cook with me video. Now I am prepping my lunch for this week, well hopefully for like the first couple days of this week. I'll see by the end of the week if I have any food left over but we'll see how much this meal can make. But I'm actually making one of my favorite things in the entire world. Um, in general, it is pasta, but this is actually shrimp scampi. I love shrimp scampi. It's so delicious. Um, my sister and I actually found this recipe probably about a couple years, a couple years ago, um, or like a year ago or something. And we both really like it. Um, a lot of people might not like seafood, but I am a huge seafood lover. But for those of you who do, if you'd like to see how I create this shrimp scampi, just keep on watching. So the ingredients you will need for this recipe is two tablespoons of butter. I'm just using, I can't believe it's not butter. Honestly, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just vegetable oil spread. Um, yeah, this is all I have right now. And you're also going to need two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. You're going to need four garlic cloves, and I'm going to be using minced garlic. So you can always just search um, the conversion to what, how many teaspoons to four garlic cloves or whatever. Um, I'll probably put it on the screen here of how much you'll need. You'll also need a half a cup of dry white wine or broth. Now, as you guys can see, I have white wine vinegar, which I realized I bought the wrong thing, but I did just Google and this will work just fine. It just doesn't have the alcohol in it, which I don't really care for, but we'll see how this tastes. I've always been using the white wine, um, the dry white wine, so hopefully this doesn't change the taste too much, but if you can get your hands on some dry white wine or broth, you definitely use that. Three fourths tablespoon of salt, of course you can add however much salt as you want to your liking. If you don't like spice, then you can skip this step, but you're going to use 1 8 teaspoon crushed red pepper flakes or to taste, like the recipe says. You're going to need some ground black pepper, once again, to your taste and your liking. 1 4 cup of chopped parsley, I'm just going to use flakes to my liking. The f you're going to use a half of a lemon um, to get the lemon juice to add that little zesty flavor to it but I'm just gonna use this lemon juice that I have left over. I don't know if it's, well, it's 100% lemon juice, but you can use fresh lemons if you like. And last but not least, your pasta. I'm gonna be using fettuccine. It's one of my favorite to use for this shrimp scampi, but you can use any kind of pasta you want. Usually it's more like a noodle type pasta that you would use, but I always go for fettuccine. Any brand works just fine. So I currently have some water boiling to add into my big pot that I have over here. Um, and I'm gonna add that in with the pasta to start getting that boiling since this part actually takes very quickly to do. So you're just gonna grab a large skillet and you're gonna put it on like medium heat, like medium to high heat. And you're gonna melt some butter with the olive oil and then you're gonna add in the garlic and saute it until it's fragrant for about a minute or so. And then after that, you're gonna add the wine or the broth that you're gonna use, some salt, the red pepper flakes, and a lot of black pepper. And you're just gonna bring that to the simmer and then you're gonna reduce the heat a little bit for about two minutes. And then you're gonna go and add your shrimp. So let's get started.
So while that's simmering down, um, before I added my shrimp, which I did forget to show you guys, I am just using this um, Aquastar Smart Seafood Reserve Raw Shrimp. They are peeled and there's about 41 to 50 shrimp per pound in this. So that's about 100 pieces of shrimp. Probably use half the bag so I can have some for another time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add this in once this starts to simmer for a little bit. But my water's finished boiling. I'm gonna add that to this pot over here and then I'm gonna add in my fettuccine to boil. So this looks like it's sauteed enough. I'm gonna start adding in the shrimp. And we're just gonna cook that for about four minutes or at least until they start to turn the thing. And I just washed these shrimp in the bag just now just to make sure they're clean. And I'm just gonna add in some shrimp. So my water is boiling. I'm gonna add in my fettuccine. I'm probably gonna use the entire thing. Hopefully I have enough water. And you can either break yours or you can use it. Make it all long. I prefer it to be all long. So guys, I just drained the pasta and the shrimp is done cooking. So now I'm gonna add the shrimp to the pasta to mix that around. And then we're gonna add our parsley and some lemon juice to your liking once again. And before I mix it together, I'm gonna to use some of my parsley. And that's my liking. I like a lot of parsley. So I'm gonna add a lot. Okay. And then I'm not really a fan of like a zesty flavor, um, like lemon stuff, like lemon chicken and things. I don't really care for lemon. So I'm just gonna add a little bit because I do want a little kick to it, but not too much. So I think I'm just gonna like fill up the cap and add like two of those. Okay, that's good. And then I'm gonna try and toss that around. to have all those extra juices because the pasta will absorb it. You can also make this with like bread if you want and just have the shrimp on the side. Especially make this with anything, not just pasta. Okay guys, so I have a little bit just a taste test and let's see how it tastes. I'm not really too sure. I'm kind of nervous because I haven't made this in like over a year. So hopefully I did it right. I just did everything to liking because I like a lot of seasoning and stuff. So I'm gonna add a little bit of noodles. Maybe I should cut the noodles, but let's see. That is delicious. Now I like spice, so if you're not really a big spice fan, you might wanna cut down on the red crushed peppers, but this is really good. It feels like I just made it last week. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little cooking video. Of course, you can maybe try this with like a chicken shrimp scampi if you're not too much of a fan of seafood. 
but I love seafood like I said and hopefully in the future I'll be doing some more cooking videos because this is just pretty interesting something new for me but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one bye